Hey y'all, welcome to another edition of Craig's uh, Public Domain Folk Songs. Uh, we're doing number five today, which is a uh, midnight special. And uh, this song, the author is unknown, the, the time it was written is unknown. We know it was written before 1922, so it's definitely public domain. Um, uh, from my research, what I can gather is um, the roots come from a... Uh, 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 African-American spiritual song from at least the 1800s um, called Let the Church Roll On. And um, in my research, when I downloaded the lyrics, sh sure enough, if you play the chords to the Midnight Special, uh, you can sing the same words and they fit right in. So obviously this song came first, so this obviously is where the chord progression came from, the melody or whatever. And um, so if you uh, check this out. There's a sinner in the church And he won't do right but What you gonna do And let the church roll on Let the church roll on Let the church roll on And on and on And you can see obviously um, The uh, African American musicians that later on did this which I'll get to in a minute, when it came to 1915, 1920, 1930, obviously they were probably influenced by the song, possibly growing up in church, hearing the melody, and later on they, they put new words to it. And, and um, So um, that's the 1800s, that's where the melody, that's where it's, the song started out in the 1800s in, in uh, African American churches down south. And then um, around 1900, um, uh, African American ragtime song came out kind of near the Louisiana area, um, obviously from the word Creole. A um, uh, song came out called Creole Bell. It came out around 1900, and um, same thing. If you play the chords to Midnight Special, you can sing. The, use these words. My Creole Bell, I loved her well. My darling baby, my Creole Belle. And um, so they think that's possibly the second evolution of the song, or maybe a, a different branch of Let the Church Roll On. But um, as far as Midnight Special goes, the, the first time it kind of pops up on the radar is um, around, um, it was... Uh, um, this guy named Howard Odom, he was an American sociologist who collected songs, and he wrote this American songbook. And in 1905, uh, he wrote about a song um, saying, Get up in the, uh, had a line, Get up in the morning when ding dong rings, look at the table, see the same damn thing. And um, it's not sure if it's, it's in a prison or not. Um, and then later on, um, uh, in 1927, uh, a musician named Carl Sand Sandberg punish published it, and um, that's kind of when the first pops up on the radar, the version I'm going to be doing tonight, you know, where it's called The Midnight Special, it's about a prison, and things like that. Um, but the first time it, it really um, pops up on the radar is um, in 1933. Um, when uh, two uh, guys uh, named John and Alan Lomax for the Library of Congress were going around the prisons down south and recording uh, uh, African-American songs um, who uh, were in the prison singing the songs and stuff to preserve them. And uh, they have, so that's why I'm able to do the version tonight. But i got to kind of back up because the guy I'm going to be talking about in a second, they ran into, his name was Huddy Ledbetter. Uh, he was better known as Lead Belly, of course. <clears throat> and he said he wrote the song uh, previously in, in 1918 when he was doing a stint in a prison. So we got to go back in, it's 1918, he was uh, in prison called Sugarland in Texas. And he uh, did, was there from 1918 to 1927. And uh, he did like eight, nine years there. And he supposedly wrote the song then, that's what he was talking about. And um, 
he supposedly wrote the song about a train, and uh, from there, uh, the, the the urban legend kind of goes into four or five different threads, uh, depending upon um, what you read. Um, uh, some talk about it. it was a it was a prison. Uh, it was a train that came by the prison to take prisoners away, and um, if, you, uh, if if you got on it, you were you know, that's when you got out, you got a ticket, and, and you were homebound, so all the prisoners, of course, were always waiting to get on that uh, midnight special and, and get out of that prison. Something to look forward to. And then there's a couple other legends um, later on when the, when the prison takes place, because it moves around down south. Sometimes the prison is in Texas, sometimes in, in Mississippi, sometimes in North Carolina, and sometimes it's no specific place just down south. But when it's in Mississippi, the one legend is, is when a train comes around a a bend, it's called the Yellow Dog Line, uh, just outside of Drew, Mississippi. Um, they had kind of oil lamps or whatever on the, on the, hanging on the locomotive, and when it came around a bend, the light would hit the prison, and if the, if the light came through the bars, your win barred window, and hit you, it was a sign, the legend, that guy would always go free very, very soon, and that, that was a legend. And, um, there's all sorts of other ones where, um, even, uh, ones that, that, uh, the prostitutes would come in if if the the prisoner was well behaved the warden would bring in prostitutes and of course they'd have to use the, the midnight train when no one was around you know come in from the city and that would be the midnight special of course the soldiers would be looking forward to you know uh, <clears throat> well, some some and um but uh who knows what it's about a lot of it's just it could be just symbolistic a spiritual like the african american spirituality of you know having the light shine down on me to you know uh, cleanse me, uh, uh, you know, wash me of my sins, take me to heaven, etc., etc., etc. And um, so, uh, in my research to do the find the lyrics of this song, uh, it was pretty difficult because there's probably about 378 versions of this song. I'm, I'm exaggerating, but seriously, when it comes to lyrics, I actually ran into probably uh, 10 to 20 versions of the song. Um, some were just slightly different, but um, there's just tons and tons of versions out there, and, and literally hundreds of artists have done this song. And what I did is I finally, um, in my research, I actually found the Library of Congress version of, like I said, these two guys, uh, um, last name Lomax, came, came later on, uh, Lead Belly, Lead Better guy. He ended up uh, in Louisiana, he ended up in prison again, and it's 1933. And the, these two Lomax brothers come in and, and want to record this stuff, and it's for the Library of Congress. And so I, in my research, I found the version on the Library of Congress and played it over and over again, and, and uh, tuned my guitar to his guitar, and it was like a half a fret off, I don't know, probably because of the recording, back then the recording, but it wasn't exactly A440 hertz, so I had to kind of tweak my guitar and get in tune and play it, and finally figured out he played it in the key of C. And... Um, he, he played it for these guys, and um, I don't know if it's the, 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 the original version he used to play back in 1915. I mean, this is, this is 15, 18 years later, so he may have forgotten what the lyrics... I know if I do one of my songs 18 years later, the lyrics are definitely different, you know. I'll never remember what the lyrics were 15 years ago, so... But, of course, there's, there's in my research, I couldn't really find, you know, um, if you know of one, please send it my way. And um, you can go to mudcat.org, by the way, if you want to discuss old folk music and, and early variations, called mudcat.org, M-U-D-C-A-T.org, and join and, and discuss this with you, with us. But um, is, uh, what I did is I went to the Library of Congress website, I played the song, and I, I carefully listened to the words, and, and transcribed them. And so the, the version I'm going to be doing today is the earliest known audio recording version from 1933. Seriously, recorded inside a Louisiana penitentiary. And, um, and I'm going to play it in the same kind of strumming style as he played, the same timing, the same key, and everything like that. So we're going to, I'm going to try to play this as, you know, uh, uh, the, you know, I want to go back to the, the public domain, you know, 1900-1915 version. Um, uh, and hopefully the version he did in 33 was very, very close. Uh, the rough, the best approximation we can get to going, going back to uh, 1900 to 1915. 
And um, so uh, here it is, uh, Midnight Special from circa 1900-1915, uh, author unknown. Um, some people, it, it was the Lomax brothers mistakenly ascribed it when they did the recording in 1933. They wrote down that he wrote the song uh, Lead Belly, Lead Better, but there was dispute later on, and so that, and like I, like you've seen from my research, um, the author is quite. From most scholars say that the author is unknown. So this is pure public domain, and uh, we'll go over the chords now. All right, so the chords are uh, just C, F, and G, and uh, you know, the tempo he plays it at is a uh, one, two, three, four, pretty, pretty, pretty quick. It goes. It's basically the chord progression. Um, takes you a little, if you can go ahead and rewind it back and just you know go through that through a couple times to get it. That's that's basically what the uh, chord progression is going to be. So um, I'll have the uh, lyrics and chords uh, down below me in the, in the comment section. So go ahead and uh, you can uh, copy and paste it and, and print it out and put it on a piece of paper and put it in front of you while you jam out. And so uh, without further ado, here it is, uh, Midnight Special. Um, written uh, somewhere circa 1890 to 1910, uh, author unknown, um, but most people uh, attribute it to Huddy William Ledbetter, known as Leadbelly, from 1915. One, two, one, two, three. Miss Rosie, how the world do you know? Why well, no by April in the dress she wore, umbrella upon the shoulder, a piece of paper in her hand. I'm gonna ask the governor.
jumping little Judy. She was a mighty fine gal. She brought jumping to the whole, whole round world. Well, she brought it in the morning, just a while for a day. And she brought me the news. So there it is, Midnight Special, um, from a uh, version back in circa 1900 to 1915, uh, loosely based on um, Lead Belly from uh, the Angola prison in Louisiana back in 1933, as close as I could uh, approximate it with, with uh, tempo and key and chords and all that. And I hope you liked it, so uh, go ahead and uh, print out the... Uh, chords and lyrics and uh, practice along and um, uh, shoot me a YouTube uh, message and subscribe to me and I'll subscribe to you and otherwise I'll see you uh, for the next selection of Craig's Public Domain. See ya!